What is going on folks? It is Rigor Mortis and we are back with yet another video and today's video is much different than all the other videos we've ever done on this channel. What I wanted to do for you guys today is very quickly talk about Lucid Motors and their plans on going public with CCIV but I didn't want to just sit here and talk about the stock or go through their website or anything like that. I want to do something special for all of you guys. I wanted to go through this video that was posted on February 23rd it is a slightly longer video, 7 minutes and 44 seconds. I got about 3 minutes into it and I was like, you know what, let me record a video and kind of do a reaction to some of this stuff that Lucid is doing. Now, I know a lot of you guys are invested in CCIV and you're interested in Lucid Motors and you know a lot about how Lucid Motors is working when the cars are coming out, you know a lot about the Lucid Air. But I know a lot of you guys are kind of like me, I mean somewhat where you're really interested in electric vehicles, you're really interested in Lucid Motors, but you're not exactly sure how the technology is going to span out. What do these cars even look like on the inside? What are the technical details, things of that nature? So I thought this video was very good. Like I said, I watched about half of it, and then I stopped and I was like, let me just kind of go through this with all of you guys, because, you know, I like doing these types of things with you guys. So this video is going to be a little bit longer, obviously. This video here by itself is 7 minutes and 44 seconds, and I do kind of want to talk about the stock and what I'll be doing this coming week, but... Uh, if you're not interested in watching this video with me or just kind of seeing my live reaction to some of these things, then go ahead and look at the comment section below. I'm going to pin a comment that's going to have a timestamp that is going to be when I start talking about the stock exclusively. So if you're not interested in this video or watching it with me, then that's okay. Just go ahead and hit that uh, comment, hit that timestamp in the comment section below, and it'll take you to where we actually get talking on the stock and what I'll be doing coming next week. So let's go ahead and get into this video and see what's going on with Lucid Motors. The future. It's impossible to see. And when it's finally here, it might not be what you'd expect. It might just be better. Introduce Something I really like about this vehicle is the the headlights so you see the headlights here but then there's also this band right up top and then these on the side it just looks all so clean to me that's why I, uh, it might just be better for those reasons introducing luxury electric introducing lucid air so obviously <clears throat> excuse me right off the bat we know that these guys they focus on electric vehicles obviously but they focus on luxury when it comes to electric vehicles so they're obviously in the same market as tesla but they just take it up a little bit take it up a notch let's keep watching a well, warm welcome to everyone joining us here in lucid's headquarters we'll see the fusion of the art and the science the technology all coming together in an incredible product which will offer the customer so much more luxury and comfort incredible performance remarkable range so much space just the volume of the frunk and the hmi it's a beautiful piece of art the technology that underpins it is out of this world from the very beginning our core mission has been to accelerate the adoption of electrification for the last 13 years, we've been pursuing this goal. We began by advancing our battery technology under our Ativa brand, where we logged over 20 million miles in real-world driving data. Armed with everything we learned, we then turned our efforts to creating the best car in the world by rethinking from the ground up every single aspect of the vehicle's engineering and design. On the design side, we wanted to simplify the vehicle to its core essence, to create something future-forward yet timeless. We wanted our car to be effortlessly sleek, seamless, and to cut through the air like an aircraft. This pursuit of simplicity focused the design around a single feature line that connects our front light blade, travels down the shoulder to the rear of the car, and ties to our minimalist tail light. One of the advantages that Lucid has is that our drivetrain components are incredibly compact and power dense. We push all those components down and away to give all that extra space to the passenger compartment. See, this is something, I mean, uh, this company is doing really interesting things when it comes to electric vehicles. So the first thing that they said is that they've been at this for a very long time. Obviously, these cars are not made overnight, guys. The, the, these, this company has been at this for more than 13 years, they said. But just look how they're able to condense all the parts of the actual electric uh, drive unit into this very condensed, compact unit that gives so much space in the front of the car in the passenger seating, in the back of the car. I mean, everything is just so spacious whenever you look at this. 
So it, it, it makes it so that their, you know, their their whole target for luxury is really being met by these little subtle things that just make it so much better. Let's keep watching. It creates a very unique paradigm where we're larger on the inside, but more compact on the outside. So to enable the space concept to work, it required mastery of electric cars, electric powertrain, battery, motor, transmission, power electronics or inverter, and software. We do all that in-house. Over the last two years, Lucid, under its Ativa technology wing, has been the supplier for the world's premier electric race car series, the World Championship. That pack was created, conceived, engineered, developed, and is actually manufactured here in this very building. That technology that we've developed and finessed on the racetracks is now finding its way directly into the Lucid Air. I'm really delighted that Lucid Air has been validated as achieving over 500 miles. This relentless search for efficiency has resulted in the rest of the system being minute, and yet, unbelievably, we have over a thousand horsepower. So I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but they said that they're able to log 500 miles. Uh, I'm assuming what he meant there is with one charge. I, I don't know. Fact check that for me, because if that's truly the case, that is absolutely incredible for just one charge to, to go all the way to 500 miles. We develop a whole host of cutting edge technologies and systems fully in-house. One to mention would be our Dream Drive system. We have a host of 32 ADAS sensors. We've been able to re-engineer a headlamp completely. We're using our micro lens array optical system. We achieve the most homogeneous headlight of any car out there. Another aspect that's fully developed in-house is our 924 volt architecture. We have a pack which can take 300 kilowatts of fast charge over 900 volts. No one else has that. This is groundbreaking. The Wunderbox enables us to charge very, very fast. And one of the most customer important systems is the bi-directionality. This will enable you to use the car as a battery system. Okay, so we actually talked about a company that did something similar to this. This is what I think is uh, similar to the V2G uh, technology that we talked about whenever we talked about NBAC, which is a spec that is um, taking an EV company public. So this is this is extremely, extremely, extremely interesting because not only can you charge your car, but you can actually take that stored energy in your car if you're not using it and put it right back to the grid. So, and it says here the bi-directionality feature expected in late 2021. So this is, this is cool stuff here. Also, we have a first ESS system. We can use the same technologies from our car into our static energy storage systems and then achieve an economy of scale which feeds back to the car. Jeez. This September, we started to build the first cars in our AMP factory in Casa Grande which is the first greenfield EV factory in North America, and to my knowledge, the fastest automotive plant ever built. This is just the first phase of our manufacturing expansion, with phase two kicking off shortly and scheduled for completion of the first step, General Assembly, in 2022. Because if you're building a luxury vehicle, without quality, there is no way. It requires quality in every step, in your design, in your engineering, in your manufacturing processes, and in the people you hire. Quality must be the foundation and the first principle of everything you do. The Lucid UX experience starts outside the car in our vehicle app. This app is tied to your Lucid ID, so as you approach the car, it knows it's you and loads your unique profile. You can then use natural voice commands to play music, set a stop on your navigation, or even check your calendar. This Lucid ID further connects all aspects of the Lucid customer journey to create a seamless experience from retail to web to app to overall in-car experience. On the retail end, our approach was to put all the love and care we put into the Lucid Air into our retail studio experience. We already have six retail locations open in California and Florida, with more opening throughout 2021 and beyond. We're going to launch Lucid Air with the exquisite 
limited edition, dream edition. This car has over a thousand horsepower, not to 60 under 2.5 seconds, a standing quarter in 9.9. .9. It's an incredible and unique fusion of performance and range. Although we consider the air to be a profound achievement, we believe this is just the beginning of Lucid. Firstly, our vehicle division will comprise a range of cars, each featuring our breakthrough technologies. And this all starts with the Lucid Air, but will quickly expand to other platforms and echelons within the market. We'll gradually make our cars progressively more affordable. Secondly, our energy storage solution division is being developed for home, commercial and utility scales. We're planning to achieve enterprise. This is something I really like about these, these EV makers, especially Tesla, is that they're not only focusing on electric vehicles, but my goodness, they are just taking energy to a whole different level. I mean, look at Lucid. They're starting out with the EV vehicles, obviously. They have these home storage devices as well. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless here, folks. So you're, whenever you're investing in these types of companies, you're not only investing in their electric vehicle. You're investing in their CEO. You're investing in their CTO, their head of finances. You're investing in their head of technology all their engineers you're investing in the whole company and they don't stop at just electric vehicles folks they they are so much more than that and you can see it here with lucid is level storage for homes and businesses alike thirdly our technology division similar to how we supply battery packs to the premier world championship ev racing series we aim to grow as a technology supplier to other oems we further believe that our technology has significant potential applications in the aviation heavy machinery marine and agricultural industries so from everyone here at lucid thank you so much for joining us here today but we have one last sneak peek for you. Introducing Project Gravity. Okay, so this is, this is it. So that looked like almost like a, an SUV type vehicle. Almost like a Model X type thing. So that's the first time I've seen that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that, that video was just chock full of a bunch of information. And at the end, there, that little sneak peek of the... This is called the gravity. Super interesting. So Lucid's already giving us a little bit of insight as to how they're going to expand in the future with this, with this gravity concept car here. So very cool stuff coming out of Lucid. So uh, let's see. The video is sitting at 12 minutes now. So let's quickly uh, talk about... CCIV stock, obviously, these this is the spec that they're going with in order to go public. Lucid is so obviously this thing has been a huge roller coaster for a lot of folks. I mean, you know, we've had the rumors. This thing got all the way up to almost sixty dollars. I think it did hit sixty dollars at some point. We're down fifty percent since then. We're sitting at around thirty dollars a share, and of course, after hours on Friday, bumping up and down. So when it comes to this spec, guys. There's a lot of people that have been asking me, hey, I got in at $60, hey, I got in at $50, $40, etc., etc. What should I do? As always, folks, this is not financial advice by any means. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just here to put you guys on plays that I'm into. But I really like Lucid Motors, like really like them. And I don't like them for a short-term play. No, this is not something that I'm going to buy and look to sell in a couple of months or a couple of weeks or whatever. This is something that I think that is going to be very impactful in the very, very, very long term future. Imagine if somebody came to you today and told you you can go back in time and invest in Tesla when they were sitting at $30, $60, $100. Every single person would take that opportunity. I'm not saying Lucid is the next Tesla. What I'm saying is Lucid has the potential to compete with Tesla as a very serious hard hitter when it comes to the EV space. Me personally, this is what I'm I'm going to tell you guys what I would have done. If I would have gotten in this stock at $60, there's no way I'm selling. No way I'm selling today. $40, same thing. $30, same thing. This is not a stock that I'm looking to make quick gains on. This would be a stock that I'm looking to put my money in and invest extremely long term because I truly believe in the company, the fundamentals, I believe in the technology, and I think that they will do good in the super long term future. So this is what I'm going to tell you guys. Come Monday, 
I want to see how this thing is moving. Obviously, the stock market has been getting crushed recently. And I'm not telling you guys that, hey, yeah, go out and, you know, have these crazy high um, cost averages and things like that. No, you know, obviously, if you if you have an opportunity to buy something cheap, then buy it cheap. This thing dipped down to $27, $26. That would have been a good buying opportunity, in my, in my opinion. But I didn't take that opportunity. So I'm going to see how this thing opens up, how we open up at the stock market in general. Quite honestly, if I'm holding super duper long term, I'm probably not, I'm not too worried about buying in at $30, $31. You know, that's not going to phase me too much because I'm looking to hold this stock extremely long term and I'm willing to have my money tied up in CCIV, in Lucid Motors, if it means that I'm going to be investing in some of the, in this company that I think is going to do well in the long term future. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Obviously, I tell you guys what I'm going to do, but the comment section is where you guys reign free and let me know what you guys are going to do so that we can talk about it. Please leave a thumbs up on this video so we can get it out to more people. Subscribe if you're new around here. Join the family. I really want to know what you guys have to say about CCIV. Honestly, that video gave me so much more motivation when it comes to Lucid. Like I was one of those guys that knew that Lucid Air, I knew about the technology, but I didn't know the nitty gritty of everything. So that, that gave me a lot of um, confidence when it comes to Lucid. And it did make me even more eager to open up a position in CCIV. But I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Appreciate you guys watching. This video is way too long. Peace out.